Hey everyone, Louis here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Telegram bot using AI and Make.com. Really simple, I'm going to be doing this live here with you, so hopefully in the end we have a working bot. Um, so, uh, in this particular case today, what I'm going to be doing is I chose um, a restaurant in New York. I'm just going to try to create a bot, a Telegram bot for them based on their information that hopefully can reply um, to customers' questions. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to be using make.com, we're going to be using OpenAI and in this particular case we're going to be building an assistant here um, that I'm going to show you in a second and we also going to be using Telegram. Uh, in order for this to work, you're going to need to uh, have the Telegram app in your laptop um, to create the bot and then of course you can use Telegram, you know, the mobile app on your phone, but to create this, um, you need uh, the, the Telegram app on your uh, desktop. So. First thing we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna we need the API uh, for creating so for connecting the Telegram module here on Make.com. For that, we're gonna need to come to Telegram, and you're gonna have to find uh, the one thing called Bot Father, which is um, the way to create a bot on, on Telegram. I'm gonna leave the the, the links below. Um, by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube, um, I'm gonna leave everything from the assistant, um, you know, uh, prompt. Uh, all like the make uh, as well the make JSON file if you wanted to upload it in our community in our uh, school community below so um, check out the links below but basically you need to go to botfather and we're gonna do it together here you just click start and we're gonna give you all this all this information uh, right and what we want is to create a new bot so I just gonna click here on create a new bot um, and you're gonna ask me for a name in this particular case, I just gonna I just gonna say scale it. Uh, which is our uh, agency. Um, I'm just gonna say scale it, and now are gonna ask me for a username. Uh, the difference is you need to have the word bot in the end. So I just I'm gonna say scale it bot, and hopefully we're gonna uh, get it. So um, as you guys can see here, uh, we now have our API uh, connection. So I'm just gonna grab all these in here. I'm gonna copy and um, now if we go here uh, to make.com um, we're just gonna click here on create a webhook and by the way just before we, we go there just to show you what I've chose um, here when you look for a new scenario look for telegram and you, the first one so this one you're gonna look for uh, watch uh, updates you can see here uh, because basically gonna be waiting or watching for uh, user messages and um, so then we're gonna click here and we're gonna create the webhook um, you can use whatever name you want it create the webhook uh, connection and now here the token is what the telegram bot uh, gave us so I'm just gonna copy and paste here our API token and I'm gonna save it and hopefully uh, it will connect uh, to our make Okay, here we go. Uh, so now you can see that uh, it is connected. Okay, now if you go back to Telegram, you have the link here for your bot here. So if you click, you are now on the bot. Okay, and then we're gonna just try to see if this is working. So if I click start, okay. Um, and then if I now run uh, the module here, um, again, uh, I, this is because of, of, of this. So let me just delete this one for now. And if I run it, um, hopefully we will see here um, a message. So uh, chat and we can see that the text is start. So it is working. This is the message we send start and the, the make uh, is just getting the message. So this is really good. So we are on a, off a good start. Uh, so now our telegram is getting our messages. So we gonna now uh, create the second part which is the AI using OpenAI to answer our questions. So what I've done here, um, I actually created an assistant. You don't need to do it, you can just have a normal completion. So if you go here, ChatGPT, you can just have a normal completion and you just do a prompt and you put all the information um, you want uh, the bot to have to in order to answer uh, the, the user better. But what I've done is I created an assistant and to do that, you just need to go to uh, OpenAI Playground, okay? And you go to assistance here on your left. You need to have an account, by the way. You're gonna need an account anyway to add credits uh, in order to use the API. If you don't know how to do it, just leave it in the comments. Or if you are in our community, you can also ask us 
and we can uh, create a whole video just on how to create an API on ChatGPT and uh, how to put credits there. But in here, if you open this, you can create a new assistant. And that's what I've done. I created a new assistant called Telegram Bot Restaurant Bistro New York City. And then what I've done is I just gave the instructions. And here, and by the way, this entire prompt is going to be in our community. Uh, so you can check the links below uh, this video if you're watching on YouTube. But basically what I've done is I just gave all the information about this restaurant here in New York. Okay. And like the, the, the you know, the address, the story, um, the opening hours. So I just gave it everything uh, in here, right? Opening hours, the location, the contact information, the story in here. Uh, and then also at the end, I even said the menu, and this is a really cool thing that you can do, that's why I'm building an assistant. I just said, if people ask for the menu or anything related to the menu, please check the PDF attached. Um, and what I've done is I just downloaded uh, the menu of the restaurant in a PDF format. You guys are gonna be able to see here on my screen. Um, so I just downloaded uh, the menu in a PDF format and in here, you can go to tools and then file search and you can add a file, basically PDFs and images and all the other things. So I just added, you know, you click here and you add, right? And then I just added uh, the PDF and don't forget to toggle this on, right? Turn this on. Uh, so chat, you can go and check uh, the, the PDF, right? Uh, and then uh, finally the model uh, in here, I just put ChatGPT 4.0. I would recommend, of course, if this is going to be used for uh, a lot of people, try to use ChatGPT 4.0 Mini um, because it's going to be cheaper, right? But for this purpose, I'm just going to use ChatGPT 4.0. And uh, before you even go to make, you can even test uh, the chat here and see if it's working. So if I ask for what is the cheapest uh, dish in the menu, uh, hopefully uh, ChatGPT is going to check uh, the PDF. So you see, it's checking the PDF and it just gave me the cheapest uh, dish in the menu, okay? Uh, so now we have our assistant, we go back to make.com and in here, we're gonna uh, create um, uh, like a, an OpenAI module. By the way, if you don't know what it is, when you look for OpenAI is message and assistant because we, are, we have an assistant. Um, so that's the one we're gonna use and we're just gonna connect our assistant in the playground to uh, make. So again, in here, if you don't have a connection yet on uh, OpenAI, you need to add it here. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just leave it in the comments or ask us in our community and we can help you. Uh, but in here, what we're gonna do is in the assistant, I'm gonna choose the Telegram Restaurant Bistro New York, which if you guys remember, was the name I gave to the, to the Telegram bot. And then in the here in the user, uh, uh, the role is the user. So what the user is going to be inputting as a message and the message is going to be, of course, the, um, you know, the, the message on uh, the chat, right? So in this particular case, I can go back here and just show you. So you guys can see that it is under message and here called text. You see start over here is what we, we, we send. I can, I can show you here on Telegram is what we send here, right? So if I go messages and I go all the way down here to text, this is the input that people are gonna ask on the on, on, on the chat, right? So, and the, so we're just gonna do okay, right? And now if I go, um, if I add another module, I just wanna now the, the, the OpenAI to message me back, right? Uh, with, with, the, with the input. So if I go to the Telegram bot in here, I'm just going to say send a text message or a reply. Uh, you need to connect it if you didn't connect it back again. And now we're going to uh, look at chat ID. Okay, so chat ID should be here under messages. Um, let's see, maybe send a chat here, chat. So it should be this one, but let's try, right? Let's try together. So should be this one. And then the text going to be the input of um, of, uh, of ChatGPT, right? So if I go here to content text, uh, it should be, should be value, but let's, let's test it. Let's test it together. Right. Um, and this should be the reply back, back to me. Okay. So if I click, um, okay, let's test the bot and see if there is any, any error or anything. Let me move it here so you guys can see. And let me ask, uh, let me put it this, 
uh, running okay um, and then now I go to the telegram app and I can ask the message here so uh, what is the most expensive dish and let's see see it collected the information now ChatGPT is running and let's see if there is no errors uh, in here uh, otherwise we can just go back and fix but now ChatGPT is uh, thinking about it uh, is potentially grabbing information from the the PDF of the assistant and hopefully then going to give us uh, the message back so it is it worked but it gave us an error let's check it so in here let's check first what is the output you see the most expensive dishes is this one which is correct so all the, the automation until the ChatGPT is correct so now the output was the only thing that came wrong okay so uh, the, there was an error here on chat ID so um, it should be a message and from and here we go this is the uh, this is the ID um, that uh, now it should work uh, if I put OK and now if we put it run it again and let's test one more time uh, but if we say what is the most expensive dish um, it should it should work okay so now it's grabbing uh, the information here now OpenAI is uh, thinking about it drafting the message and now hopefully you're gonna get a message back saying what is the most expensive here we go so it is working um, so you guys can see that it gave us you know the most expensive dish uh, in the menu now this stuff here is something we can uh, improve on our mm -hmm. assistant we can tell our assistant to not uh, to not provide this type of, of uh, information so again it's something we can improve uh, but let's try to let's say one more thing like let's say what are the opening hours uh, or let's say is it open for lunch time on a Tuesday and let's see if of course sorry I need to this is not live running so this should be should be turned off uh, turn on and so let's just let's just turn on and uh, let's just save it let's uh, turn it on and uh, and okay so now that it's okay so now that it's on uh, let's let's try again here we go so now it is on you're gonna check for every single message you guys can see that he already replied to me yes it's open for lunch on a Tuesday lunch hours are Monday to Friday 11 to 30 let's say tell me um, tell me the the cheapest dish on the menu you're gonna uh, you're gonna tell me um, uh, so now it's working and uh, and now the the scenario it's uh, it's running and uh, hopefully hopefully we will we will see the, an answer from it here we go so it just takes a few seconds to uh, reply back and now we can ask all the information we provided to the assistant now we're gonna basically use it right so we can tell tell me the uh, address please uh, and then the cool stuff about this is that uh, not only has information about the restaurant in this particular case but it also has the AI from you know from from ChatGPT so you can even say I don't know I'm not from New York so I'm not really sure but can you can we ask for example uh, give me directions from uh, Central Park to the restaurant and and because he knows the address and he has AI mm -hmm. as well on on top of it uh, he can also answer this type of question so it doesn't necessarily just needs to be information for the restaurant so you see here we go he provides me information on how to reach there uh, by from Central Park to the to the restaurant which is amazing so now this restaurant has a full telegram bot working um, completely functional and you can do this for anything that comes to your mind it doesn't need to be for restaurants it can be for you know for your own uh, business for SaaS businesses it can be for gym owners and you can do I did this on telegram you can do this on slack on whatsapp and any other type of messaging platforms again as long as they have integrations with make or an API that you can use you can do this type of thing so it's really simple to set up but it has a lot of value and I think the most important thing um, at least for me that I see it making even better it's using an assistant so that way you can put all the information here uh, from the restaurant like you can add PDFs you can add images you can add any type of information you want 
uh, and then uh, you know the 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 bot gonna have access to that. So you can even I even added like what is the Instagram uh, Instagram URL uh, and you're gonna you're gonna provide the Instagram URL now. So um, because I just added to the to the to the prompt. So I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just tell me uh, in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you want, just you know, if you want all these like the the entire um, the entire automation, you just need to upload a JSON file. You can find it on our community as well. Going to leave a link there, and also the entire prompt going to be on on the community as well. So uh, yeah, hope you like it and give it a try and let me know what you build.